In today's video, we're checking out the MCG pedals Levitico. Now this is a Tube Screamer inspired pedal and you can absolutely get those sounds out of it, but it does a whole lot more thanks to these two toggle switches and the voicing control. Now, if you have the voicing control to this side, it's gonna give you that typical mid hump sound with less top end. And the more you wind it this way, the more that mid hump actually disappears and the more top end you'll get. So you can get a lot of different sounds out of this. The star of the show, in my opinion, are these two toggle switches. We get LED clipping up here, which gives us more headroom and a little bit more attitude. It's got more of an open sound. And silicon, if you're looking for something a little bit more mellow in the tonality, you can leave this toggle switch down. Over here we have the plus and minus, not to be confused with a crucifix over here. In the up position, you're getting a more heavily saturated tone with more mid frequencies and just an overall rock and tone. In the down position, it's more of that vintage overdrive. We get three main controls across the top, volume, tone, and drive. The further up they are, the more of each you're going to get. But I love the fact that the drive control is transparent and under it, we get an always on LED indicator. So if you're doing a gig and it's dark, you can simply look down and know exactly in which position the drive control is in. I really like that. Next to the foot switch is the on off LED. So if the pedal's on or off, you'll see this light up. I love the fact this is also top mounted jacks. So I've really come to appreciate this and it really saves space on your pedal board. You can run this pedal from nine to 18 volts DC. Here's the inside of the pedal. And as you can see, this is completely handmade and hand wired. Beautiful. A massive thank you to MCG Pedals in Mexico for sending this out for the review. I really appreciate it. If you want to check this out, I'll link it down below. You're about to hear this in the context of a quick jam track, a brand new one for the channel. And then you're also going to hear some isolated tones. And I'll talk a little bit about how this varies from your typical Tube Screamer, because there's a lot of different tones in here, although it can replicate those classic sounds. Let's get into it. All right, let's kick it off. I'm plugged into my Blues Deluxe Reissue amplifier on the clean channel. This is my clean tone. Nice clean tone, bridge pickup. We're gonna start by taking a look at the toggle switches. Everything on the pedal set to one o'clock across the top and the voicing control set to about 10 o'clock. The toggle switches are the first thing that I want to show you because it drastically changes the tone. So on goes the pedal. This is sort of like a more mellow sound. Now if I click this one up, you're going to get more mids and more compression and sustain, all that kind of stuff. All right. And if we click over to LED clipping from silicone, we're going to get a much bigger sort of rounder sound with more clean headroom. Here we go. I'll just quickly cycle back so you can hear the difference. So 
So as you can see, you can get different sounds and voicings out of it just by using the toggle switch. Let's take a look at the gain control on the pedal, starting with it at nine o'clock. Here we go. If you're more into that mellow blues tone, I would recommend leaving these toggle switches down. You can ride the volume control as well on your guitar, which is great. So this is neck pickup with the volume down. That's with the volume on the guitar down. Now, if we click this up, we're gonna get more headroom. So this is still with the guitar volume down. Volume up. It's really versatile, much like a tube screamer. Use your volume control to get the most out of the pedal. One of the best ways to run a pedal like this is to use it as more of a push into the front end of your tube amp. So I've just cranked up my Blues Deluxe to the point of break up. There's a little bit of hair on the sound. The pedal's currently off. Let's take a listen. And now with the pedal on, with the gain down and the volume cranked. Have a listen to the difference. Let's take a look at the voicing control on the pedal. If I've got it to the left, you're gonna get more mids and less top end. So this might suit a bridge player who wants to fatten out their tone in the mix, or you can turn it the other way and get a more open sound with more top end and less mids. So it's up to you how you wanna run it. This is neck pickup. <laughs> o'clock. That's a really sweet spot on this pedal. It's like the middle ground, so to speak, and it's right in the dead center. If we turn it this way, it's going to sound more open and less mid heavy. Let's go over to some humbuckers. And lastly, over to some humbuckers, thanks to this Gibson Flying V, and I've set up a really fat tone to start with. Both toggle switches are up. We'll try it with the toggle switches in different positions and also the voicing control back to the other side. This is bridge. <laughs> Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane, I'm gonna give you my thoughts about this and I'm also gonna predict that one of the comments in the comment section will be something like, all we need is another tube screamer in the world. This isn't just another tube screamer as I hopefully demonstrated in this video. It has those classic tones, but it also does a whole lot more. The two toggle switches drastically change the feel of the pedal and how open it sounds and the saturation level as well. But the voicing control completely transforms it from that typical mid hump sound all the way through to something else. So I really like this and I like its simplicity. One of the cool things about it is that LED behind the gain control. So you can look down and know 
that's the gain control. That's pretty cool. It may confuse some people that it's got an LED under one of the actual potentiometers, but I really like that. The main LED light for on and off is down here, but overall it's a great built pedal. This is handmade in Mexico, and if you wanna check it out, I'll link it down in the description below. Let us know what you think of this, and I will catch you on the next video. See ya.